Following an on-your-site investigation, the Better Business Bureau revoked a Nixa company's accreditation. It's a story our Ashley Reynolds first brought you last fall, and she has tonight's update. Ashley? We're talking about Premier Exterior Solutions. Our reporting goes way back. Almost 10 years ago, I covered this owner under a different business name. Back then and now, customers have the same complaints. They paid in full and no work was done. Or, as you're about to see, customers say it's shoddy work. See, it's just falling off everywhere. Last fall, Donald and Dottie Weishop in Republic showed me the work done by Premier Exterior Solutions. They paid more than $11,000 for new siding. They just want it fixed and, you know, we just get one excuse after another. They hired Premier Exterior Solutions because of the unlimited 50-year warranty on the contract. About two hours north in Camden County, Amanda Patton says crews with Premier Exterior Solutions never started the job. She paid them nearly $11,000 in May of 2021 to replace her grandmother's siding. What bothers me, it's her money. It's her hard-earned money. Richard Gillette runs Premier Exterior Solutions. Last year, in an email to On Your Side, Gillette blamed the pandemic. He apologized to customers for the delays. Fast forward to today. These customers still have not heard from Richard Gillette. Now there's this alert on his business. The company now has an F rating. And the Better Business Bureau revoked the accreditation. And when a company signs up for BBB accreditation, they agree to address any complaints, to make a good faith effort to resolve those complaints and honor arbitration if, if that is an option. And they fail to do that. Despite reaching out numerous times, not only they did not address the complaint, but they didn't respond to BBB's uh, attempts to contact them. About 10 years ago, customers say Gillette did the same thing. Back then, he operated a company called Midwest Modern Exteriors. He did not return my call then because he was in prison for bank fraud. The indictment reads he overstated his income and altered documents to get personal loans. He transferred some of the funds into his Midwest Modern Exteriors account. Investigators say he significantly overstated his commission. Those proceeds were used to purchase, among other things, a 142,000 Lamborghini motor vehicle. Okay. After he was released, he got involved with Premier Exterior Solutions. On your side is heard from about a dozen customers who say they've had problems. Since our story, two have sued the company and won, but have not received refunds. Wednesday morning, I reached out for comment about this alert to Gillette, and I have not heard back. You can watch our full story right now on our news app. Lisa. Thanks, Ashley.